In the last presentation, we completed positive and negative logic. In this lecture, we are going to cover positive and negative logic AND gate, positive and negative logic OR gate, what is dual form, and finally, we will derive rules to write dual form. So, we will start with positive and negative logic AND gate. I will take a two input AND gate, let's say A, B are the two inputs and uh, the output of this two input AND gate is Y and uh, you already know in case of AND operator the output will be high when both the inputs are high and uh, if any of the input is low the output is going to be low so we have four possible combinations because we have two inputs and uh, the first combination is low low when both the inputs are low then we have low high high low and finally we have high high so these are the four possible combinations and the output will be low 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 and high so this is the simple AND gate now we have to find out positive logic AND gate and negative logic AND gate you have to remember what is positive logic and what is negative logic from the last presentation it is very simple we have to only convert this low to zero and this high to one in case of positive logic and low to one and high to zero in case of negative logic because this is what we mean by positive and negative logic in case of positive logic the higher value corresponds to one one is the representation or you may call it symbol and the lower value corresponds to zero this is for positive logic and uh, if you reverse this thing higher value corresponds to zero and lower value corresponds to one we call it negative logic so this is all we have to do to find out positive logic and negative logic and gate so let's do it first of all i will find out positive logic and gate so positive logic and a gate a b are the two inputs y is our output and uh, now we will fill this table depending upon the convention of positive logic low is zero in positive logic so we have zero zero the output is zero 0 1 because high is 1 in positive logic output is 0 1 0 0 1 1 or 1 so this is the simple AND gate in positive logic and we are going to use this table throughout this course now we will find out the negative logic AND gate the negative logic AND a gate we have two inputs a b y is the output and uh, in case of negative logic the lower value is represented by one so we have one 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 zero the higher value is represented by zero so we have zero and uh, we have one then zero one one and finally we have zero 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 so this is the truth table for negative logic and gate now we will move to positive and negative logic or gate we are going to follow the same steps i will do it quickly and uh, we will take two input or gate again a b are the two inputs to our or gate we have low 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 high high low high high and uh, you already know in case of OR operator the output will be high if any of the input is high so in first case we have the two inputs as low low so output is going to be low then we have B is high so output is high A is high in the third case so output will be high and uh, in the fourth case both the inputs are high so output is going to be high so this is the table for OR gate and uh, we want the positive logic OR gate so we are going to convert this to the positive logic OR gate the way we converted 
this table to the positive logic AND gate. So we will follow the same steps and uh, I am going to represent low by 0 and uh, high by 1. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, then we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is positive logic OR gate and uh, we will have our negative logic OR a gate A, B, Y. Low is represented by 1 so 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is positive logic OR gate. Now we have four tables and we are going to compare them. If I compare positive logic AND gate table with the negative logic OR gate table, I'll find they are same. Let me copy this down. I will copy and then paste it and I will drag it near to our positive logic AND gate table and uh, we can see that it is same when A and B are 1 the output is going to be 1 you can see in the same way when both of them are 0 output is 0 and uh, for the rest two cases we will find that we have output is equal to 0. So these two tables are same. So I can say that positive logic and gate is equal to this one is for negative logic OR gate. You can see this is for negative logic OR gate. So I can say that positive logic AND gate is equal to negative logic OR gate. In the same way if I compare negative logic AND gate with the positive logic OR gate I will find they are also same. So we have two things. We have two things negative logic AND gate is similar to positive logic OR gate. So these points are very very important. You have to keep this thing in your mind that positive logic AND gate is equal to negative logic OR gate and negative logic AND gate is equal to positive logic OR gate. Now the question comes what is dual form? The dual expression is used to convert the positive logic to negative logic and negative logic to positive logic. Very simple. So if I say I have an expression like A and B and you want to find out the dual form. So let's say this is the positive logic and uh, as I have told you the dual form or the dual expression is used to convert the positive logic to negative logic. So if you want to find out the dual of this expression you want to find out the dual of this expression you have to convert this to the negative logic. So the negative logic of this thing is A or B. So you have to replace this AND operator with OR operator and uh, the reverse is also true if you have A or B and you want to find out the dual then you have to make it A and B. So this is the only thing that you have to do in case of dual form. If you remember the complement in that case also we replaced OR operator with AND 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 operator with OR but we also complemented the variables. In this case, in case of dual, we don't have to complement the variables. We have to keep the variables as it is. If I have A, then after taking the dual form, I have A, not A complement. In the same way, B is B, not B complement. So this is the only difference between the dual and complement form. We don't have to take the complement of the variables in this case and I have already explained you how the positive logic AND gate is equal to negative logic OR gate and vice versa is also true. So this is all for this presentation. In the next presentation we will continue this dual form and uh, we will solve few examples and uh, we'll see what is self-dual. Some expressions are self-dual. If you take the dual of that expression, you will find the same expression. 
and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this topic you may ask in the comment section